First of all, I would like to thank Ryan for sponsoring such a great uh, event today. I really enjoy working with Ninja Trader, and uh, um, this is going to be one of the biggest events I've ever uh, participated before. Uh, Ninja Trader has provided us with uh, tremendous support and help, so I'm very excited to be here. Um, let me first uh, begin with uh, some introductory uh, terms that we will be using throughout this demo today and I'll be able to answer your questions if you have any please type them in the chart window and as soon as I make a pause I'll look at the, I'll look at the chart, chart window and uh, we'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible without waiting the whole hour uh, till the end of the demo well uh, let me roll over to the next slide and uh, uh, I'm sure you know everything, but just to make sure we speak, speak the same language, um, I'd like to talk about some definitions. Uh, order is a contract placed by a market participant on the marketplace, which could be an exchange or an electronic uh, communications network, ECN, such as NASDAQ, NYSE, or BATS, or DirectEdge. Uh, what is interesting about an, or an order is that it has certain attributes that uh, make a lot of sense and they can be analyzed to gain additional advantage uh, over the competition who doesn't have access to that information. Uh, the parameters of the order include timestamp, when the order has been placed, volume, uh, symbol, or ticker, of course, and some additional parameters such as cancel the order if it is not executed immediately and so on. While the order placed by a participant uh, can be executed at, at some point immediately or a few hours later, it can be canceled by the participant or modified uh, to change the price or uh, the number of shares. And <coughs> uh, uh, it can be actually uh, open, remain open on the marketplace until uh, the session day is closed, which for NASDAQ, for example, is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, when the extended hours session uh, is closed. Well, <coughs> I'm s uh, order book is uh, all the orders combined and uh, for, for a given tickers. It could be a sell orders or it could be buy orders. They, uh, both types of the orders constitute one book for that particular ticker. And uh, the beautiful thing about a book is that it allows you to uh, determine uh, things that you are very familiar with already, which is bid price, ask price, market depth, or spread being the difference between ask price and bid price. Now, the, the order book is uh, something that you are probably familiar with without even knowing. For example, level one quotes pretty much uh, bid, bid quotes and ask quotes that you see on your screen if you have that feature enabled with your broker. That's pretty much a, a tip of the iceberg, but it's like the very surface of the order book. Level 2 quotes are uh, much more detailed in the sense that they provide you with a certain level of depth. Uh, they can provide you with maybe, you know, a dozen additional layers uh, uh, going beyond bid and ask price. And total view, as you know, um, an offering provided by NASDAQ allows you to see the entire book. Uh, as you know, these services are not free and you have to pay sometimes $10, $20, it depends on your broker and your arrangement with a broker. Uh, so it is valuable, meaning that brokers and exchanges can get away with uh, this by um, selling the service. So it does have some information that some of the traders are willing to pay for. Uh, here is why we believe order book and order flow data is very important for the uh, technical analysis and I personally believe that in about 10 years, maybe 5 years, uh, technical analysis will be 
focusing not on just simple price and volume, but on the order flow and transactional data. And here is why. The next chart shows you a little bit more detail about how bid and ask price chart can be co uh, constructed using order flow. It is different from what you would see on your broker uh, screen or uh, on your uh, Yahoo Finance page because this particular chart that you see on the screen contains uh, two types of data for the sell orders and for the buy orders. Uh, the uh, red line is sell order, the blue line is buy order. And uh, uh, even though the price itself is pretty much well known because you can plot bid and ask prices on the chart, but when it comes to volume, I frankly haven't seen much m many charts that would display uh, b executed volume or trade volume uh, by splitting the total volume into two pieces, buy, uh, buy orders and sell orders that were executed. However, this is very important for traders because uh, the patterns of the sell order execution and buy order execution uh, is different when the price is going up or the, when the price is going up. Here is an example. What happens if one of the market players wants to accumulate some equity? They start to aggressively place orders at an ever-increasing price because they want to accumulate some stock. And while they are placing these orders, they are hitting more and more sell orders that have been placed by other market participants a while ago. So what happens is they start hitting more sales, sell orders and uh, if you look as a third party uh, observer it, uh, on the marketplace, you see that when the price is going up, the number of executed sell orders rises unusually. And uh, if you are a, uh, you know, a, a mathematician, you can create a kind of statistical model and see the correlation between prices moving up or down and the volumes of the sell orders or buy orders being executed. And you will see that there is a deterministic relationship. So as a trader, not a, a third party observer, of course, if, as a trader, you really need to know what is going on if you want to predict further market movements or explain what is going up with the price. Because sometimes price can go up uh, as an exception from the rule, not, not because somebody is accumulating it, but because it's a temporarily uh, glitch of the marketplace. You know, somebody placed a big uh, m you know, market order and took out the whole liquidity and uh, that may not indicate the direction of the price. It could be just a uh, you know, one-time event and you can actually not take a long position but just wait until you see the real trend. So it is really important. It gives you an explanation about what is going on and gives you help in creating a much better strategy. And since we started talking about ex uh, patterns and execution pa patterns, let me quickly uh, uh, touch upon certain patterns that I've seen that are very consistent. Uh, I'd like to start with open order patterns. Um, open order patterns is something that has been already implemented by NASDAQ and TotalView. And if you go to their NASDAQ Trader website, for example, you will see the recommendations how to read total view to be able to make intelligent decisions. Well, one of these rules is when you see a big supply of liquidity on the buy side or on the sell side, that means that there is tremendous support for you know negative action or positive action. If there is a lot of buy orders placed very close to the bid uh, price, uh, you will not be able to manipulate the price down because you will have to fight all this liquidity. So if you can compare different liquidity uh, types on buy and sell side, you can judge in terms of probabilities what is the likelihood of price going up or what is the pr likelihood of price going down. And uh, that would be very similar to the concepts of support and resistance. 